Hi, <laughs> I'm Judy Matuski, registered dietitian and licensed and culinary nutritionist with Athens Nutrition. And I just realized that I was, um, I did an, my entire Facebook Live <laughs> for you. And things are a little bit different on how things were set up on Facebook since the last time I've done my Facebook Live prior to my renovation of this kitchen. And I realized that the whole thing didn't go live. So I apologize for that. Um, I feel like I'm a little rusty. I need to get, I need to get back into, into, um, into it again, you know? Um, so anyway, but I did, um, want to just show you the finished dish, at least that, right? So we, what we were making, um, it was the, you know, curried, roasted curry cauliflower egg salad. So it was a, a real interesting twist on, um, egg salad. So most of us are really familiar with regular egg salad, but this I love. It's from um, one of my newest favorite cookbooks, um, Ota, um, Adelangi Simple from Yotam Adelangi. I love it. It's just um, simple recipes that have interesting spices and interesting herbs, and it elevates some dishes that we might find a little more traditional, but it changes them a little bit and brings a little different flavor profile. So this particular salad, although I made it thinking that I was filming and I, I, was, I was live and I wasn't, so I apologize for that. But anyway, I can just share real quickly. Basically, it was just, you know, um, it's just quartered hard boiled eggs with roasted cauliflower and onions that you roast in the oven with a little curry powder. And then you toss that together with, you know, a Greek yogurt dressing that was just some Greek yogurt, a little bit of mayonnaise. And then we were using, you know, an interesting spice that you might not be as familiar with, which is Aleppo pepper. And that was the one um, ingredient that was a little bit more unique. You may not, I know I wasn't that familiar with this until I started, you know, cooking with some of his recipes. But I love it because it doesn't have the heat as like a cayenne or a red pepper, but it, um, it has a little bit of a tangy, fruitier flavor with a little bit of heat. So I've been finding that I've been using this a lot more um, in uh, a lot of different dishes other than my red pepper flakes. So it was a nice addition to my, my pantry. It gave me something else to, to kind of grab. And then, we're, and then we're using curry powder, which I think is pretty common. Most of us have that in our, in our, in our pantry. And the other, um, the, other, er, the other herb, or the herb that we're using was tarragon. And this time of the year, it's tough to find tarragon in the supermarket. So I'm just using dried tarragon in this recipe instead as a flavor substitute. And tarragon is one of those herbs, you know, that you may or may not like, because it does have that licorice anise kind of flavor. And if you don't, then you could certainly substitute something like maybe fresh mint or um, maybe a little bit of parsley and skip the tarragon. So the, the, whole, the whole salad, and this is sort of the finished salad on the plate, and here it is in our, in our, in our bowl. The, the whole salad is really just roasted cauliflower and onions in the oven with a little bit of curry powder and salt and pepper and a little olive oil. Roast them off high, hot, high oven. I think it was 475 for about you know 15 minutes just to kind of get them browned up. Then while they're while they're roasting, you could you know just quick boil of your hard boiled eggs. I'm going to put a link up to a super easy way to do hard boiled eggs um, so that you can peel them very quickly. So I will give you that link. I already had my hard-boiled eggs boiled, you know, I made them yesterday, so I didn't do that while I was, um, on, while I was doing this cooking demo. But, um, so the hard-boiled eggs, you know, cute, put them in, cut them in quarters rather than finely chopping them. So it's nice to have this texture that goes nicely with the sort of bite-sized cauliflower um, uh, florets. And then, then all you're doing is putting together the dressing very quickly, which was just some yogurt. It was twice the amount of yogurt to mayonnaise, which is a really great way to lighten up a creamy dressing so that you don't necessarily need 100% mayonnaise. You don't even need 50-50. This is, was six tablespoons of yogurt to three tablespoons of, um, of mayonnaise. And then it was, um, you know, the mix of those spices, the Aleppo pepper, the tarragon, and the curry powder. And then you're just tossing that into the creamy dressing then tossing it all together in a nice big bowl like this. And I had some, I happened to have some fresh herbs, so I had some fresh mint that we're still luckily getting from our garden. 
and I had some parsley. So I chopped that up, a little bit of lemon juice, and you're good to go. This is a great, easy salad. It's an entree type salad because, you know, those eggs are bringing that really nice protein in with the, with the cauliflower. And if you, I love doing this with some toasted whole grain pita bread. It just makes a great quick lunch. It's even a great breakfast, to tell you the truth. So give it a try. Um, we do have the recipe that we're posting, so just jump over to our blog so you can pick up the recipe. Again, my apologies for not hitting the right button to go live. I just didn't realize that they had changed the formula a little bit. So I will have it together. <laughs> I will get it back together next week. Um, I'm back in the kitchen. As you notice, the, the setting's a little bit different. Not completely done with the kitchen, but I do have my appliances in and my countertop. That's really all I needed to just get cooking again. And I'm so happy to be back. Um, I really missed being in the kitchen. So it's good to see everyone. Let me know if you do make this and if you have any questions since you really weren't able to see the whole cooking demo. Let me know if there are any questions about it and I'd be happy to get back to you and I'll just, you know, just type it in, in, in the little chat box. All right, listen, have a great week and I'll see you next Thursday at 12 o'clock. We will definitely be live at that point. All right, take care, bye-bye.